Hey y'all, Andrea Ellis here, um, Fear Free Living LLC. I'm back today, happy Thursday to y'all. So um, you guys, I'm very excited about the message the Lord gave me today. And um, um, the title is Put Your Shame to Rest. Put Your Shame to Rest. God wants to deliver some people today. So I pray that this broadcast go forth the way it's supposed to and that God's will be done with it. So um, hope you're doing well today. Happy Thursday. Um, God is good. Uh, if you're going through challenges, remember I always talk about you have to fight to win and um, nothing comes easy. You know, some things will come easy, but a lot of times... Um, a lot of things there is a price to pay before you break through so if you're dealing with um, you know generational hang-ups through your bloodline and you know you need to like fast pray and you need to push through to um, wipe out all your debt because really it's the debt of your bloodline you know sins that a lot of times we have to pay a price I know I had to go through that as well so um, because the enemy has a legal right through situations from our past that was inherited to us, we inherited. And we have to like break through a lot of those things before things can really start unfolding. So, um, and I feel like that specifically what I just said is for someone to just encourage you. Sometimes the battle you're fighting is not just your battle, it's from your generational situation. So just keep pushing through, fast, pray, do what God tells you, walk in obedience to his will. And I'm telling y'all, you will wipe that debt clean and you will be able to go forth where the devil does not have a place to stand to fight against you, where there's no debt that you have to pay through from your father or, or mother, generational curses and things that you, know, you kind of inherited through your bloodline. So this is for someone, you know, um, so uh, be encouraged and um, push through all that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Um, be encouraged and push through that. Natalie, is that you? Oh, Natasha. Oh, hi, Natasha. <laughs> thought you were someone else for a minute. So yeah, push through those generational bloodline uh, situations so that you could get to the promised land, okay? So um for those of you that are new to me that will watch, my name is Andrea Ellis. I am a life coach. I'm the founder and CEO of Fear Free Living LLC. It's a soul and mind wellness company that specializes in helping Christian women to overcome their fear issues and everything fear related so you can live your best life, be about God's business for your life, accomplish your dreams and goals and slay and not be uh, timid and shy um, you know, and, and just not be procrastinating, not being able to do what God's called you to do. Okay. Uh, a lot of times we're t timid and shy and it's fear. It's fear. It's really fear. Um, that had happened to me, um, when I went through my, some difficult things in my childhood that inherited into my early adulthood and, um, it will affect your personality. And when you, get rid of all that fear and anxiety that's really pushing behind a lot of that a lot of times you're able to just be who you really are some people are quiet but then they're but they're not like afraid or they're not like shy they're just more quiet but if you're like super shy and timid that's fear okay so anyway you guys let me get into it so the lord says put your shame to rest and um, today, you know, a lot of people, what came to my mind is a lot of people are being deterred, held back, and imprisoned by shame. You know, something happened, whether it's in their childhood or even adulthood, or maybe some way they used to behave, or something done to them, and they have carried that, and they are still um, saturated in that, still consumed by it. And the Lord says, put that to rest, because it's actually holding you back. It's actually causing you to not even move forward into your real identity because your identity has been scarred by that shame. And God want you to put that to rest so that you could move into 
your destiny move into your new identity move into like who you really are in christ um for you um christian women move into who you are in christ and i feel this is for also for men any i feel this is for anybody really you know my target audience i always talk about is uh christian women but people god god want people delivered from shame from shame he wants you to stop discussing it in your mind stop thinking about it he wants you to stop um uh talking about it and move forward uh welcome welcome thank you for coming in you know he wants you to stop uh putting all your focus and all your meditation and all your thinking on whatever that shame is for you you know, it's also coming up for some people, it might even be a body part that you have shame around. You know, um, that came to my mind. It's a, It could be for someone a body part that some, maybe there's some disfigurement or maybe there's something about it that um, that uh, makes you uncomfortable, but, you are, but it's more than like an insecurity. It's like a shame for you. It's a shame. You like, you don't like that thing you don't like that thing at all and it's beyond just like an insecurity you have shame around it and god wants you to be delivered from that you know what i mean he wants you to if it's something that you really even can't change that you really oh it's coming up like disgusted with i hear some people like disgusted with a body part like they're disgusted like that word come out um give that to god give that to god let god you know, be real about it with him. Say, Lord, I really, I do not like this body part. I'm disgusted by it. I'm whatever. But can you please help me to move forward from it? Because God wants you to love yourself. He wants you um, uh, to take on his perspective of you. He wants you to see yourself the way he sees you. He wants you to see yourself from the true design of who you are and not the impressions of the the uh the the demonic um influences in our world you know he wants you to see it from a place of um a healthy space not a toxic space you know because a lot of us have toxic ways of thinking or believing or seeing ourselves so god wants you to see it from a real from the right perspective from a healthy perspective he wants to reframe your mind around that so for those of you that you have a body part that you're like disgusted with, you're shamed of, and um, it's you're, it's more beyond, I'm hearing like it's beyond like an insecurity. It's like, you know, you have different levels of insecurity. It's like even a hate is coming up, even a hate. Even if you hate, hate that uh, body part or even hate yourself or hate what you've done or hate how you've been or hate that you were even born. Oh God, God don't want you to hate that you were even born. You're here, if you if you landed on planet Earth, you're here by design, you're not here by accident. It might have been a surprise to your our birth our mom or you know, your, your father, but it's not a surprise to God, you know, because we exist spiritually before we're ever given a body. We existed spiritually before we're ever put in a body. You know what I mean? So God wants you to know that if you're on planet Earth, you have a purpose, you have a meaning. You know, you're not useless. You're not just um, a nobody. You're not just um, insignificant, a little speck. You have meaning, you have purpose, and God wants you to embrace that, okay? And um, a lot of times you will not know you, who you really are until you go through the one that created you because he's the one that created you so and you were created in his image so when you draw to him and you get to know him more you'll get to know yourself more like the real you because a lot of us are not even functioning out of our true self we're functioning out of a hurt um defective um place we're actually malfunctioning you know we're malfunctioning we're not uh, functioning properly for uh, whatever reason. It could be your past um, trauma, you know, your past unresolved issue, your past 
pain and you're 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 projecting out of that space and you're not really coming from your real authentic self but like a defective place you know so god want to realign you back into um functioning the way how he created you to function you know so two scripture that came up to me about um um put your shame to rest which was um second corinthians 5 or 17s for you um believers and that's talking about old things have passed away all has become new god needs you to move forward some of you guys things will not manifest until you change how you're thinking until you get out of your unstuck in your mindset in your belief system in even uh your imagination what you see for your future like god is trying to take you forward but you're still in the past and f for today people specifically you're stuck in some shame some shame situation you know from your past or that you currently um, are experiencing like in your body, you know? And he says, old things pass, all become new. We're in a new time, you guys. And the other thing is um, Philippians 3.13 that says, forget those things that are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Forget those things that are behind and reaching forward to those things that are ahead. So God wants you to forget the past. He wants you to put that to actually put that to rest to put that leave that in the past and so that he can take you into the new um if you're living on planet earth things have changed okay we're in a new era we're in a new time things will not i know people talk about things going back to normal which i understand that you know not all these covid restrictions but things will never go back to how it was before covid even when all these restrictions are gone it will never go it we're just in a different dynamic things it's shifted and god is shifting you as well and he has a um a good place ahead of you but to take you there to manifest in your life you have to put your shame to rest you have to put it to rest you have to stop meditating on it stop um demonizing yourself because of it um forgive yourself if it was something that you did to cause some that your shame sh sh you shame you you feel shame about like something you did like say it was you're in the wrong not like something does done to you but something you did that you're in the wrong and maybe if you could have changed go back and change that you would change it like god wants you to put give that to him like you cannot keep imprisoning and beating yourself up for something that you did before that was wrong god wants you to relieve yourself to forgive yourself just like he would tell you to forgive someone he wants you to forgive you because if you've brought it to the lord he's already forgiven you so you have to make peace with it you have to make peace with it and put it to rest and stop letting the enemy beat you up about it okay so you guys, that's what I felt to discuss today. Um, you know, God don't want you to be held back, to be deterred, to be imprisoned, to be uh, stuck anymore in shame. You know, he wants you to move forward. He wants you to put it to bed. He wants you to make peace with it. He wants you to put it to rest. Give it to him so you can move forward. So you can embrace where he's trying to take you. So that you can no longer be enslaved to something from your past. Whether you did it or it was done to you or it's a body part or whatever. Or even if you just hate yourself. Like God wants that to be changed so that you can move forward. He don't want you to hate yourself. He don't want you to beat up on yourself. Condemning yourself anymore. He wants you to give it to him. Put it to rest. Put it to bed. Make peace with it and move forward. For those of you hating yourself, God wants you to love yourself. Ask him to help you to see yourself the way he sees you. Because I'm telling you right now, you're not seeing yourself right. None of us is perfect. So this is not about you doing everything right. None of us. Perfection belongs to God and God alone. Jesus is the only sinless person that will ever be. 
once you're in the flesh, you are flawed, meaning that you will not do everything 100% perfect, even as you're getting better. Because you're in the flesh, you will not do everything perfectly. You will be perfected in Him for those of you following the Lord, but you will never, your actions will never be like perfect 100% of the time. So you have to like let the perfection thing go and just trust him and grow in him okay with your flaws and all okay trust him with your flaws okay give it to him so that's it for um today you guys for those of you that are suffering and you're stuck in fear you're stuck in needing people's approval needing people's acceptance you have fear of judgment fear of abandonment fear of rejection you're a people pleaser because of it and you are just really caught up with what people think about you. If I'm speaking to you about those things, hit the link in my bio. I will help you. I will coach you and I will help you to get breakthrough out of that so that you can really be about what God's called you to be so you can really do what God's called you to do and so that you could walk in your authentic self and not wear a mask and not trying to please everybody and not trying to be what you feel people want you to be so you could be accepted, okay? So I love you guys. Hit the link in my bio if you need help in those areas. And uh, let's schedule a consultation at, or DM me and, you know, we'll go from there and see if we're a good fit, okay? So I love you guys. Be blessed. I know this will help somebody. Please share, you guys. For those of you that will watch this on youtube because i will post it there like subscribe share right in the comments let me know um you know if this is a blessing to you so you guys be blessed for those of you watching right here follow your girl if you're brand new to me okay so be blessed you guys and let's connect all right love you guys i'll see you guys next thursday all right y'all bye